first time I did this craft, I used a piece of cardstock and a pencil. The idea being that, you know, pencils, you can erase. And you can actually open this up and get at the eraser. It's also a lot easier than trying to find an uh, ink pen to shove inside a feather. So, however, we noticed playing around with this one. I mean, I made a black one. I tried making a colored one to go with a yellow pencil. <laughs> and they kind of look like leaves. So, got a better idea. Instead of using paper, we're going to use coffee filters. Coffee filter uh, gives you a nice fluffy feather, so like that. And then if you want to use a colored pencil, it's pretty easy to color the coffee filter using um, magic markers and then get it wet and then dry it off with a hairdryer and you got a really great looking blue feather to go with your blue pencil. To make the coffee filter feather, you're going to need two coffee filters. Now, personally, I don't even use coffee filters anymore, but I still keep a stash of coffee filters around just for crafting. So, I'm going to fold it in half. All right, and then you're going to take a pair of scissors and cut an oval shape. Now, it doesn't have to be real neat, and it's even better if it's not real centered. Because if it's a little bit off, it actually will end up looking more like a natural feather. So, for this one, we're going to go ahead and use a white pen. These are Bic Crystal Up pens. Uh, they're actually these are easier to find than the white pencils. So, take take the pen cap off, and then lay it down on your feather. Make sure that you leave enough. For your hand to go here because you don't want to be grabbing the feather. All right, now we're going to use some double sticky tape. Uh, basically, we don't have time for glue, so double sticky tape is your friend. Let's go ahead and put some tape on your pencil and then, or your pen, and lay it on there. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's real centered and it will actually look better if it's not centered. And then try to line these up a bit. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. And come back and tape the other layers on. want you can come in and tape the layers down a bit at the top. It's totally optional though. Now it's time to get your scissors out again. Now if you're not real happy with how you lined it up you can always take your scissors and clean up that edge a little bit. Okay and then Maybe we'll clean this up. There. And you want to go ahead and make some cuts. These are forming the veins of the feather. You want to cut towards the pen at an angle. Again, these can be big or little. Depends upon who's doing the cutting. And you know what? If you make a bad cut, all you lost is a couple of coffee filters. And you can untape it, you can start again. Alright, give it a little roughed up. There you have it. Weird that I'm using double sticky tape. Yes, it's very weird that you're using double sticky tape. No, 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 mom, you didn't know. <laughs> weird that I'm using double sided double sticky tape to hold down a roll of double sticky tape. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, today we are gonna make a and somehow they crammed a little tiny pen inside the shaft of the, the feather here. And I was gonna try to replicate that and it's actually kind of hard. So instead, I came up with this idea. This is a piece of And then the nice thing is you can just stop talking yeah. about it. <laughs> my watch to stop and it's like okay the first time I did this craft it was actually using a piece of um, cardstock and a pencil so ooh, my hands kind of blue <laughs> <laughs> anyway the whole yeah. idea was that's, that's another thing about the short clips if you I said continue. I'm trying to find the button but found the button you lost the button I lost the button great job mom Two okay, by two hands of blue. Ah! <laughs> so the first time I did this craft, I actually used a piece of cardstock and a pencil. Would you <laughs> stop that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. 